Have you ever wondered if there was an easy way to know when power comes back on after a power outage? Well, I have a device that promises to solve that problem, and today we're going to put it to the test. This little device claims to notify you when utility power is restored. And in this video, we're going to install it, wire it up, and run some tests to see if it actually works. Now, just to be clear, this is not a sponsored video. I bought this device on Amazon with my own money, and if it works, it could be a game changer for generator users like you and I. One of the biggest challenges when running a portable generator during a power outage is knowing when utility power has actually returned. We don't wanna leave our generators running for longer than needed, and we're all anxious to put the generators away and get back to normal. We've all been there, right? peeking out the window and cycling our main and generator breakers on and off to see if utility power's returned. I must have done that a dozen times on the two day outage we had this past spring. That's where this power back device comes in. Reliance has created a simple monitor that connects to your home's electrical system with a non-contact sensor. It's designed to sound an alarm when utility power's returned. But the big question is, does it actually work? Well, stick with me because we're about to find out. Let's get it installed. Before we get started, we need to turn power off to the panel. I'll walk you through the installation step by step. It's a pretty straightforward process depending on your skills and your setup. But as always, if you're not comfortable with electrical work, have a licensed electrician install it for you. We'll only need a few tools to safely complete the installation. I grabbed a multimeter, some screwdrivers, wire strippers, and a pair of diagonal cutters. First thing we need to do is remove the panel cover. This device needs to be installed at your generator ready panel or your manual transfer switch if you have one. The idea is to monitor power on one of the line wires coming in from your utility's electrical meter. The no contact sensor is designed to wrap around one of the insulated line wires. With the cover removed, we'll use a multimeter to verify that power is turned off. I'll check line to line, line to neutral, and line to ground. Remember, it's not enough to shut off your panel main breaker. We also need the wires feeding the main breaker to be de-energized. Depending on your generator ready panel, you may not have a breaker that isolates these wires. I have a breaker outside at my service for this, but if you don't have a breaker to isolate these wires, you may need to pull your utility meter. We're going to be wrapping the sensor antenna around one of the line wires, so we need them to be de-energized for safety. Next, we'll knock out one of the half inch openings to install the power back device. We want to mount the device within 20 inches of the incoming utility conductors. The system requires a nine volt battery to operate, so we'll install that now before we connect it to the panel. It also has a low battery light, so you'll know when it needs to be replaced. It should last a long time though, because the only time the monitor will be turned on is during power outages. Now we'll just run these wires through the knockout and the lock nut, and then tighten it up. The device has a ground wire and the sensor cable. Let's connect the sensor antenna first. We want to wrap the white sensor antenna around one of the line wires feeding the main breaker and it doesn't matter which one. The instructions call for a tight coil around the wire. We'll use some zip ties to hold everything in place. Now we'll connect the ground wire. Be sure to connect the ground wire to your grounding block, not the neutral block. That's it, it's wired up. Let's close the panel back up. Hey guys, real quick before testing. If you're finding this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. They're both free and they really help the channel grow. Okay, let's get back to it. Before we test the power back monitor, let me explain to you how this thing is supposed to work. When utility power fails, we'll turn the on off switch to the on position. The green system arm light will come on. Next, we'll follow our generator switching and startup procedure to supply our critical loads from our generator backup. Yeah. 
when utility power has been restored, we'll have power to the line side conductors of our main breaker or the utility side of our manual transfer switch. The power back monitor should instantly sense when power is returned and sound a 100 decibel audible signal. So we can turn our power back sensor off and follow our switching procedure to return from generator supply back to utility power. Okay, let's test it out. Since my utility power is turned off outside, I'm actually already in a power outage condition. Now I'll switch on the power back monitor and the green armed light should come on. When I turn my exterior service breaker back on, the utility power will be restored and we should hear that 100 decibel audible signal if it works. Here it goes. Wow, that's actually pretty loud. You'll definitely know when power's back on with this thing. I think it's loud enough to hear from anywhere in the house. No more guessing if utility power is returned and it only took me 15 minutes to install. This is going to be a great addition to my setup. I'll leave links to the power back monitor and all the tools that I use for the installation down in the video description. And I'll drop a couple other backup power videos for you to watch next right here. I'm John from Backyard, Maine. I'll see you on the next one.